Hello everyone! Today I will be doing an arch nail extension with a bright and sweet design. If you are interested, please join me and consider subscribing. And welcome to Dasha Nail Arts channel! Let's get started! To save time, I already done my manicure and now I'm preparing my nails for extension. I dehydrate my nails. Apply acid free primer and base in a thin layer. Cure under the lamp for 30 seconds. I'm going to create my nails with a milky color gel, so I don't have to do an additional white polish base for the neon colors. I'm using a mixture of clear hard gel and white hard gel for a French manicure. Now I'm preparing the form. My finger side walls are quite voluminous, so I'm making cuts and deepening the template a little. I decide on the length, which for example on this template and on this particular finger corresponds to the number 5. The numbers may vary from finger to finger, depending on the length of nail bed and the depth of the trimmed forms. So the first thing I do is use compass to fix the length of the index, middle and ring fingers. The pinky will be a little shorter and the thumb a little longer than the middle finger. For arch shapes, the template has to be placed at an upward angle. To determine how much the template needs to be raised, the end of the selected lens and the apex of the natural nail must be raised at the same level, and the imaginary line connecting these points must be parallel to the axis of the finger. If the nail is flat, without a pronounced apex, you must visually raise it by 1-2 mm and focus on this imaginary point. When the side view is correct, I check the top view. The tip of the template is displaced slightly to the right, compared to the axis of the finger, so I pull the form slightly to the left. As a result, the middle of the phalanx of the finger, the middle of the cuticle and the markings on the template should line up in one straight line. After making sure the shape is set correctly, I pinch and secure the template. I'm creating the extended tip by spreading the material past the number 5. The excess will be filed off later. I close the engross points well, but don't pile a lot of material on them. I keep the lower parallel straight. In this case, I don't drop it down and don't add extra lens, because in this particular case I will file it at an upward angle in this coffin or ballerina shape. I cure it for 12-14 seconds and pinch the extended tip over the edges of the natural nail for about 10 seconds, until the material cools down. Then I send it for a final curing for 60 seconds. The next step is to align and fill the gap between the tip and the natural nail, thereby strengthening the free edge. As much as possible, I try to smooth the transition and form a straight line. Cure for 60 seconds. Taking off the templates. Carefully file the free edge and the lower parallels. I remove all bumps and unevenness.
all that is left for me is to strengthen and build up the architecture of the nail. I polish the nail with gel and apply the main drop of product, strengthening and distributing it all over the nail. I always turn my finger upside down to get the gel to spread better and more evenly. More in the middle and apex of the nail, less on the sides. Cure for 60 seconds. Then I remove the excess product using the e-file. With a nail file I refine the shape. The side parallels narrow slightly towards the end. The upper parallel is strictly parallel to the axis of the finger. The material has been applied as accurately as possible, so I don't have to do much filing. I'm guided by the inner arch, so I can remove the excess where necessary and not overfile where not necessary. In my case, as I said before, I file the lower parallels in this shape arch ballerina or arch coffin at an upward angle and I have three reasons for that. First, in my opinion, this way the nail looks lighter and more graceful. Second, these nails are more comfortable to wear because their corners don't protrude as much. Third, as time goes by, when the natural and down-growing nails grow out, the whole artificial part of the nail slides down. This becomes especially noticeable when the lower nail's parallel is created straight. Such a nail view is not aesthetically pleasing, but if the lower nail parallel is raised, it looks great until the next refill. Now it's time for dessert. I don't think my comments are necessary here, so I will describe the drawing process briefly. As with any drawing, I first sketch the outline and the underpaint with the lightest shades. Then I add shadows and darker colors. Next I detail and outline the resulting image, adding highlights. And of course, after each color I do intermediate drying. I apply yellow and pink in two layers. I'll seal the entire nail using a top with a sticky layer and level it slightly. Then I apply a matte top. In this order, the matte top doesn't chip and is much better to wear. The only thing is that a rubbing layer must be applied first and then add a drop more, so that there is no streaking after drying. Cure for 30 seconds. I highlight the waffle ice cream cone with a glossy top. Next I move on the yummy sugar coated donuts.
And now the delicate and melt in your mouth macarons. Under the multicolored dots of the drip patterns, I add a white background. In the video you can see a little white outline around the drips, but in reality they are not visible. After drying, I apply neon colors on them in two layers. Then a top with stuckiness and after a matte top. I highlight the drip separately with a glossy top. I place the neon rhino stones on builder gel. I cure the bigger stone separately under the lamp to keep it from moving. Then I add transparent yellow caviar beads. After drying I apply top gel between the stones and on the top the beads. Finally I cover everything except the arena stones with a matte top. I don't like winter and I don't like the cold. I love summer, but it's already over. Summer may be over, but my summer mood is not, and these nails prove it. My charge of sun, warmth and positivity accumulated during the summer splashed out in their bright and juicy neon colors, sweet and seductive drawings that defy the coming autumn, full of grayness and cold. For me, summer hasn't ended, at least until the next design. Give a thumbs up to this video, it's important not only for the YouTube algorithms, but also as an assessment of my efforts. Subscribe to the channel, ask questions and share your opinions and impressions. Go to my Instagram page where I always post my works. And that's it for today, there was me Dashanel Arts, see you in the next video.